Just in the last few weeks, we've had uh, the Morecambe Bay report, we've had the Hello, My Name Is campaign from Kate Granger, and we've had the, the latest um, report from, and the final report from Sir Robert Francis on the difficulties facing whistleblowers. So clearly, some fundamental issues that need to be still resolved. But what I want to start is by asking to give me what you think is the single most important issue in creating this uh, culture of openness, safety and compassion. So encouraging a culture in which that gets recognised as early as possible and in which people look after each other and are unafraid to, to have a conversation with a colleague or to suggest to somebody else that they might talk to them. I think that's very important. And finally, I don't think regulators can do it on their own, but they can be part of a grand alliance, if you like, which I'm sure we'd all like to see, of, of getting health to, to the place we'd like it to be. It's political leadership, it's clinical leadership, it's organisation. It's at all different levels that affect what happens within organisations. And, and you can see organisations which have good clinical and organisational leadership that creates conditions whereby individuals feel that they can and have permission to challenge, to raise concerns, where there is a, there's still accountability and it's getting this balance between, on the one hand, accountability, but also having a, a low blame, if that's the right uh, term, culture. Being able to take time to reflect on one's purposes, one's values, one's principles, and then using those kind of reflective times to shape questions. Questions about the context in which you're being asked to deliver care, questions about the supportive systems available to you, questions about what kind of mediated kind of conversation you need to have with people who you disagree with, questions about how you can actually share common purpose in terms of the quality, the safety and compassion of care you're delivering. So one thing you need to be very good at is sculpting the right questions to get what they want. I think we all want the same thing, namely doctors to be compassionate, kind and respectful to their patients and when things go wrong to be open, honest, fair and not preoccupied by fear of being blamed, named and shamed. And most of all, what we all want is that when complaints are raised, that they are dealt with and resolved swiftly, not delayed or caught up by bureaucracy because we know that the one thing that causes the most distress for our patients is when uncertainty is prolonged. I think also I've been quite struck this morning in some of the groups around people talking about a cult of perfection um, in medicine. In terms of openness, I think demonstrating through action that you actively want feedback um, and that negative feedback is crucial in terms of continuous learning and improvement. So, so again, through actions, being really committed um, indeed um, and in statement to putting people first, but also being committed to continuous reflection and learning.